Bitcoin price plummets. Bull market over. Hello, welcome to Bitspools, the place where you can find all the latest news about Bitcoin, Ethereum, the metaverse, tech, and more. Get up to $100,000 on a Bybit.com demo account and practice making money in cryptocurrency. Dot. Link in the video description. Would you like to know about the halts that the Bitcoin has had and the latest events? Then don't miss this video where we're going to talk about why Bitcoin's price is tumbling and also as the Bitcoin bull market over. So let's start. The price of Bitcoin tumbled more than 5% on Tuesday to below $60,000 following the disappointing day of spot Bitcoin ETF trade in Hong Kong. This happened along with fresh U.S. economic data that pointed out sticky inflation and made the argument stronger to the Fed that they should wait before cutting interest rates. Having pushed nearly as high as $65,000 in early Asia trade, Bitcoin was last changing hands around $60,000. As macro fundamental headwinds build, technical analysis suggests BTC could be headed for a near-term correction into the 50Ks. Since mid-April, the Bitcoin price has consistently found resistance at its 21 and 50 DMAs, suggesting the bears are in control. Additionally, the Bitcoin price has also formed a descending triangle within the past few weeks, which typically form ahead of bearish breakouts. Should the Bitcoin price break to the south of its recent range lows at $60,000, a quick retest of $53,000 is possible. Should Bitcoin break to the south of its recent range lows at $60,000, a quick retest of $53,000 is possible, meaning a 12% near-term drop from current levels. That would take the Bitcoin price's pullback from its March all-time highs near $74,000 to nearly 30%. The launch of spot Bitcoin and Ether ETFs in Hong Kong on Tuesday fell flat. Hong Kong ETF providers had been pumping hype prior to the launch claiming that the Hong Kong launch could surpass the U.S. launch. Instead, total trading volumes amounted to just under $12.5 million, according to Bloomberg data circulated on X. The Hong Kong launch was a big disappointment to the market. It's no wonder that the Bitcoin price saw a substantial dip in the wake of these numbers coming out. The weak Hong Kong ETF debut comes amid a slowing of inflows into spot Bitcoin ETFs in the U.S. at the same time. The block data shows that flows have been negative since last Wednesday. Still, the availability of these ETFs in one of the world's biggest financial centers is an important milestone for crypto. A continued buildup of Marco headwinds has added to the sell pressure catalyzed by the weak Hong Kong ETF debut. Data relating to inflation and employment costs in the U.S. came in higher than expected for Q1. The employment cost index rose by 1.2% in the first quarter of 2024. Accelerating from a 0.9% increase in the previous three-month period and beating the market consensus of a 1% growth. The news has raised concerns that U.S. inflation will stay sticky above the Fed's 2% target. As per CME data, the market implied probability of no rate cuts by September is 50%, compared to 6.5% a month ago. Meanwhile, the probability of no rate cuts this year has risen to 25%, up from 1% one month ago. According to Bank of America, the Fed is in wait-and-see mode until it has more clarity on inflation. We suspect Powell is comfortable with the substantial pricing out of cuts this year, Walter Bloomberg quoted Boa. Well-respected Fed analyst Nick Timmerhaus also argued in a recent WSJ article that the Fed will signal it has the stomach to keep rates high for longer. Unsurprisingly, the U.S. dollar index and U.S. government bond yields are trading close to recent highs. The DXY rebounded above 106 on Tuesday and is eyeing yearly highs at 106.50. The U.S. 10-year was last at 4.68% and eyeing a retest of last week's yearly highs at 4.74%. Bitcoin tends to perform poorly in an environment of tightening financial conditions. That is when the market expects higher interest rates and the dollar and yields rise. Weakness in ETF inflows, tightening financial conditions, plus bearish technicals could send Bitcoin to the 50Ks imminently. Would this spell an end to the Bitcoin bull market that began back in late 2022? While there will undoubtedly be a lot of FUD on social media platforms like X, that is very unlikely. Assuming Bitcoin follows its usual four-year cycle, the bull market still has 1.5 years to go. That argument is strengthened by the recent passing of the Bitcoin halving a major driver of past four-year cycles. The first three Bitcoin halvings all preceded huge pumps to new record highs, albeit not for at least four to six months. The question is whether the price action post-halving will be different. The price action leading up to the latest halving was different. 
Bitcoin was able to hit a new all-time high prior to the halving for the first time, arguably raising the risk of a post-halving correction, which appears to be manifesting right now. That doesn't mean we won't see new all-time highs after the halving in late 2024 or 2025, however. And easier financial conditions ahead should eventually come in as a tailwind to the market. Risks are arguably more tilted towards economic weakness in the U.S. and lower inflation than towards strength. After all, interest rates are at multi-decade highs and the yield curve has been inverted for well over a year. Should the U.S. economy weaken, bringing inflation down faster, this would hasten rate cuts. Other factors are also set to boost BTC. Most potential buyers of U.S. ETFs have yet to enter the market. Many are required to conduct a period of due diligence on the new products before investing. Many others don't have access yet, as the ETFs aren't yet offered by their bank wirehouse. Risks are strongly tilted towards a continuation of inflows in the coming years. That is to say, it's very unlikely that current AOM and spot Bitcoin ETFs will not continue rising. More broadly, the narrative of Bitcoin as digital gold will likely continue gaining momentum in the coming years. More companies and countries will also likely adopt it as a reserve asset as Wall Street ups its allocation. Bitcoin may also continue to attract safe haven demand if geopolitical financial stability concerns resurface. Fed rate hikes have put a major strain on many regional U.S. banks, and trouble could reappear at any moment. Alright, that was all for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Alright, have a good one. See you later.